wondering why i've got these three speakers in our today's video well these are the various types of surround channels that we all use in our home theater setups for instance some would opt for an on wall or an in wall speaker some would go for a bookshelf speaker for surround and some would settle in for the bipolar speakers so in our today's video we are going to talk about the right choice of surround speakers that you should use while designing your home theater system Now before we understand which is the best speaker let us first do a basic study of what is unipolar speaker what is bipolar speaker and what is a tripolar speaker what you are looking at right now are the unipolar speakers in unipolar speakers you have got one tweeter one driver similar case out here one tweeter one driver both of these are in the same axis and they are going to throw the sound in the same direction that they are facing towards now let us look at what has bipolar speaker got to offer a bipolar speaker for instance has got two tweeters on both the sides and it has got a mid range driver right in the center or it can be a mid range or woofer but primarily it has got two tweeters on the sides now in these kind of configurations you have got two variants one which is bipolar second one which is dipolar a bipolar speaker are in phase speakers whereas a dipolar speakers are out of phase speakers out of phase speakers are very very difficult to set up in a dolby atmos home theater setups because dolby atmos recommends not to use dipolar at all because they can confuse you as to where is the object based sound coming from and that is why bipolar are one of the only options to compete with unipolar when it comes to a surround sound stage now in a bipolar or dipolar speakers you have got two tweeters throwing off axis sound apart from the sound that is coming from the mid range driver or the woofer which is over here now that we have established the fact that dipolar speakers are not supposed to be used in dolby atmos configuration it leaves us with only two options first one is unipolar second one is the bipolar let us try to understand it more practically as to which one would be the best option for you in your surround sound setups now mostly for a single row setup let's assume this is your recliner or a sofa chair and this is your video display now what happens is when you put your surround speakers they are typically at a 90 degree to 110 or 120 degree angle for your side surrounds and you have got two extra speakers at the back now for the side surrounds this is where the most challenging situation arises because these speakers are going to be closer to the people sitting on the corners of your sitting and that is why the people sitting right in front of the speaker are the ones who are going to only enjoy the sound of this and it may not reach as effectively on the other side same thing happens when you have got another surround speaker over here this person sitting over here is not going to really enjoy or get that sound properly and this is where the magic of a bipolar speaker comes in because the bipolar speaker can actually help you cover the sound far more better because the tweeters are off axis which means that they are not going to throw the high frequency sound directly towards the listener ears in the same case when you add one more recliner of setting the added advantage comes that these two tweeters can throw up sound to the back row as well as to the front row of sitting now here's one catch though the person sitting in the front will always have the sound coming from the side back which is ideal for surround sound stage but to those sitting at the back row they may have the surround sound coming from a little frontal area than where they are sitting which makes them as a front wide speaker as well so this is a area which is very very gray and you will have to decide as to which is the primary row of setting and accordingly try and place this speaker or any surround speaker for the matter of fact now let us look at a two row setup but with a unipolar speaker what is going to happen the speaker has to ideally be in the middle of these two rows so that it can disperse the sound evenly in both the areas though an ideal configuration would be one speaker meant for this row and another speaker meant for this row which is exactly what we see in large theaters because large theaters try to divide the sound though the channel remains same but the sound multiplication happens using multiple speakers for surround if those were the advantages of a bipolar speaker let us also now try to understand what are the disadvantages or drawbacks of any bipolar speaker first it has got to do with its size now bipolar speakers are typically going to be bulky in size they are going to be at least protruding out by 5 inches and it can go all the way up to 12 inches as well for certain models the second drawback is the price because of the use of more components more bigger body it is not going to be as cost effective as any unipolar speaker 
third reason or the third disadvantage of a bipolar speaker is mostly got to do with its dispersion making it difficult to achieve an object based audio clarity and that is where you have to rely on a good calibration expert to come and calibrate the system rightly for you as well as to place the speakers for you and then let us move on to the fourth final disadvantage of a bipolar speaker which is an extra diffusion that they carry or the more sound that they disperse throughout the room you are going to require to treat the acoustics pretty well so that it does not interrupt with any other surround channel sound now that we know that shopping for surround speakers is an extremely tricky affair considering the fact that unipolar and bipolar can both work in various scenarios you definitely need to find out a great home cinema expert and i know one such fellow whom you can check out using the link above as well as the one that is shared in the pinned comment by reaching out you can get the right solution based upon either of these configurations which suit your room and to those of you who want to go a little one step above this as well then you can opt for a 2d design service which is priced around 3500 and it will help you connect with our designers who can give you the right solutions the right placement of the speakers with an understanding of the sound dispersion using again the link in the description that's it from my end i tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya we'll see you again in the next video till then don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so much